a very good morning students we have already studied a finite state automata and context free grammar in finite state automata we were having a problem that we cannot store anything now suppose if we have to model a machine which require a memory to store something we cannot model it by using finite state automata some different model is required so for it there is another automata which is called push down automata you have already heard this word push if you think about your studies in data structure you have heard this push in stack so this push down automata is something related to a stack so let's see what is basically a push down automata is having already studied finite state automata we see that a push down automata is an extension of finite state automata it has a finite state automata plus an input tape and a stack so the memory part is added to finite state automata and this memory is in the form of a stack so we can say that a finite state automata plus a stack makes a push down automata a finite state automata cannot remember anything but to overcome this thing a push down automata is designed push down automata have three components one is a finite state control as you can see on the screen a finite state control the input tape and this is a stack this stack and input tape together with this finite state control makes up a push down automata this finite control is same as the finite state machine there are different states which move from one state to another state but the working of push down automata is different as compared with finite state automata so let's study in detail what is a push down automata now to define push down automata mathematically we say that a push down automata can be described by seven tuples it can be described by seven tuples like finite state automata was having five tuples push down automata is, is having seven tuples now what are these seven tuples q which is the set of states sigma the set of input alphabets this is a new tuple that is we call it lambda this is a stack symbol which can be pushed or popped from the stack this represent the set of symbols which can come on the stack q0 is initial state similarly we should have something on the stack which represent that the stack is on empty that we are starting with the machine so there is a symbol which is called z0 which represent the starting symbol of the stack like q0 represent the initial state z0 represents the starting symbol of the stack f is set of final states and del as it was in previous automata this is a transition function yes the working of this transition function is different in push down automata and it is different in finite state automata to summarize once again instead of five tuples there are two more tuples in push down automata one is the symbols which can be there on the stack this lambda and another z0 which represents the starting symbol of the stack these seven tuples make push down automata now to study push down automata in detail let's see how does this machine works q is set of states no problem in this i hope the set of input alphabets which are written on the tape the stack symbols which will be there on the stack q0 representing the initial state z0 the initial symbol on the stack f the set of final states we have to see how does this lambda works how does this transition function works so let's see how does this transition function works now for example let us say that the transition function q0 a z represents q1 b z what does this signify so listen to it very carefully what does it signify that we are initially on a state q0 the input symbol is a 
and on the top of the stack because we know that push and pop can be done only from the top of the stack and the top of the stack is having a symbol z so for a push down automata it takes three inputs one is the state the input alphabet and the stack alphabet depending upon these three inputs it gives what will be happening on the next so the transition function says for example in this that the state q0 will be changed to q1 input is normal we will proceed to the next input symbol there is nothing shown for the input this bz represents that the top of the stack will be replaced by this bz it means that the top of the stack was having z now instead of z what will come on the top bz what does it signify that we will replace z by bz how can we replace z by bz we will pop z then we will push z and push b so now the top of the stack is having b so this is how the transition function works now there are two types of moves in push down automata in one move we consider both the input symbol and the stack symbol the push down automata has a characteristic that it can work without any input symbol also that is on epsilon on null input but for it it requires a stack symbol so there can be a case in which there is no input but still the machine works because there is an input on the stack symbol so depending upon that moves we can have new transition we will be seeing an example ahead which will make it more clear now as we have seen in finite state automata the first numerical is how to decide whether the particular string is accepted by automata or not in push down automata there is acceptance by two types one is if we are able to reach to the final state we are able to reach to the final state after reading the complete input and the second is by null store so there are two types of acceptance one is if we are able to reach to the final state and second is by null store what does it means that when we scan the complete input and our machine reaches to the final state and there is no other input alphabet left we say that the complete input is accepted another way is when we have scanned the complete input no input symbol is left and the stack becomes empty there is nothing in the stack we say that the string is accepted now to proceed further let's see what is an instantaneous description now what is this instantaneous description means instantaneous means usi samay us shan so it describes the machine at a particular time in push down automata we use three parameters to describe an instantaneous description the three parameters is the state the remaining input and what is there on the top of the stack so these three things basically describes a push down automata at a particular instance which is called instantaneous description of the machine q is the current state w is the input which is not been scanned which is the remaining input we start scanning from the left hand side moves to the next state and the input also moves further on the right hand side the input tape which was shown before is attached to the finite state control with a read head it move, keep on moving towards the right when it scans the input and this alpha shows what is the on the top of the stack now if we again see this diagram now this is a finite state machine it is connected with this input tape and this head is basically a read head it moves from left towards right it scans each input and keep on moving towards right the state keeps on changing and new symbols are being pushed or popped onto the top of the stack the complete push down automata is described by what is the current state what is the input symbol which is to be read and what is there on the top of the stack which describes what will be the next step of push down automata now when we will be solving this numerical 
to find whether the string is accepted or not, we'll be using a notation which is called turn style notation. This symbol describes the turn style notation. It represents one move from one state to another state. When we put an asterisk, it represents number of moves. After sequence of moves, the state is changed from one to another. Now, instead of a state, we use the complete instantaneous description for the machine. For example, if I say that at a particular time, our machine is represented by PBT. Now, what does it mean? That the current state is P, the input symbol is B, and the top of the stack is having T. If after a certain transition, we say that now the state has become Q, the input string is W, and the top of the stack is having alpha. This is how we de describe the instantaneous description, change in one instantaneous description to other instantaneous description. Now, having studied this, let's summarize what is a pushdown automata. A pushdown automata is nothing but a finite state automata with a memory. And memory is in the form of a stack. The moves depend upon the stack and the input tape and the current state. Let's solve a small numerical to see the acceptance of the string by a pushdown automata. Now say that this is the pushdown automata which is given to us. It is having three states Q0, Q1, Q2. It is having two input alphabets. One is A and the second is B. The stack symbols that can be pushed onto the stack is A and Z transition function, initial state Q0, initial symbol on the stack Z and final state Q2. Now we start with the for this string and this is the transition function which is given. Let's study this transition function before. What does this transition function tell, says that initially the state is Q0, it takes input A and the top of the symbol is stack is Z, then what will happen? The state will remain same and on the top of the stack, two more A's will be pushed. So now on the top of the stack, A will come. Similarly, if we say that input is A, top of the stack is A, then what will happen? One more, sorry, top of the stack is A, what will happen? We will be pushing these three more A's into the top of the stack. Now, if B is input and A is on the top of the stack, what will happen? This epsilon denotes that the stack will be popped. Whatever is on the top of the stack will be popped. Only the top of the stack is popped. A complete stack not becomes empty. Only we pop the symbol from the top of the stack. This epsilon denotes that the top of the stack is popped. Similarly, for a state Q1, if on input there is B, and on the top there is A, we will pop the symbol from the top of the stack. And if we know that the symbol on the top was A, so A will be popped. Now this move is for the state which I was saying that there is no input symbol. We are on a state Q1, there is no input symbol and top of the stack is Z. What we will do is we will reach to another state that is Q2. And this Q2 is basically the final state. Now let's see the moves for the push down automata for this given string. Now see, we start with the instantaneous description, initial state is Q0. This is the complete string which is being input and the top of the stack is Z. Now we take the first symbol from the input symbol, from the input string that is A. The state is q0 and the top of the stack is having z what happens q0 a z the production which we have seen just now what does it says for q0 a z push two a's and the state remains same so state remains same q0 this a is removed from the input and the remaining input is written over here and two more a's are pushed onto the stack now what we have to see to go further Current state is Q0, input is A, and the top of the stack is having A. Top of the stack is having A. We have to see only the top of the stack, not the complete stack. 
so we have to see the production for q0 a a if you see in the previous slide what was there on q0 a a that two more a's are being pushed onto the stack there was already two this a two more a's are being pushed so this becomes two more a's comes similarly we follow the production for q0 b a a is popped again for q0 b a a is popped again for q1 b a a is popped now a's are being popped finally we reach to a state q1 b a a is popped and we reach q1 null z now whole input have been scanned there is a move for null string also and this move changes it to the state q2 and we have scanned the complete input reach to the final state it means that the string is accepted so with this when we reach to the final state we say that our string is accepted so student this is one type of numerical which tells us about acceptance of a string in push down automata in this unit there are three type of questions one is what is push down automata which we have seen second is acceptance of push down automata which we have seen and third is designing of push down automata i'll be sharing the video of designing of push down automata after some days in the meantime i request you to go through the examples of how to find acceptance of a string by push down automata what is push down automata and in case you have any doubt kindly let me know thank you